Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a Tool album review. And this is for Anima or Enema, I think it's called a Tool album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listen to and let you know my thoughts on this record. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is like a 15 track album. And, jeez, it, it's long. <laughs> but, uh, I did enjoy the final track on the record, Third Eye. I had to stop it, play it again, stop it, play it again. Because I was getting so many messages on my group chat. Or one of the group chats I joined. I don't have my own group chat, but I'll probably make one eventually. And yeah, it just, this whole record was better than the last one, for sure. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best thing, but it did a good job, I guess. Sorry, that was a ding thing for my, uh, uh, group chat that I joined. But... Yeah, Stink Fist was actually a really good single. Eulogy I really liked. I liked Maynard's aggression in his voice throughout this whole album. It's much better, and I can really enjoy it a lot more than what I did with the first album. First album wasn't bad, but I wasn't a big fan of the first album. And don't get me wrong, I'll probably eventually buy their albums, but I'm not going to pay $32 at Walmart for Tool's Fear Inoculum, because that's just expensive. Who the hell would pay 32 bucks for that? I know most people that want to do that, that's their choice, but I think it's a waste of money. I think if it was like $15 or something, then maybe. Because it's only a 7-track album. But the standard edition, not the digital. Digital has all 10 tracks total on Fear Inoculum. But yeah, the weirdest song on here was Cesaro, Some Ability. It had a baby, like kind of crying a little bit and it was kind of weird i was just thrown off by that and i was like i don't know if i'd like this uh ions was actually pretty good and like i said third eye is probably my favorite closing track to this album uh for this album i wouldn't say it's it is a long track. It's like almost 14 minutes. But it is enjoyable. From beginning to end. Jimmy was another good song. Die Fleur von Satan. Parentheses German. The Eggs of Satan. I'm like. That's a weird track. But I enjoyed it. It was like 2 minutes and 19 seconds in. So it was not a bad one. Useful Idiot was the interlude. And I think most of the interludes were not the best. But they were alright. Uh, then you have the title track, Anima. I'm going to call it Anima. Because, or Enema. Or whatever it's called. It's hard to pronounce that album name. But. Uh, Intermission was actually a solid one. Hooker with a penis. What the fuck. That's just a silly title name. I was thrown off by the title name at first. Because I was like. That is so weird. And H period. Was. Uh. It was pretty good. I didn't hate it. Uh, Push It was 
the second longest track on this album. Uh, it was almost 10 minutes, but it was enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned all the tracks on this album, except for Message to Harry Manback and 46 plus 2. It it does add a lot of math equations in this for their discography or for this album. 46 plus 2. I'm like, really? You're going to help us solve the answer to that? You're going to let us solve the answer? It's 48. <laughs> but it wasn't a bad song. I enjoyed it. Um, and sorry for the ding stuff in my video, I, like I said, I joined this group chat, and, uh, it's actually a pretty good group chat, it's, we mostly talk about music in the group chat, and other things too, like this coronavirus going around and all that shit. Like, how we feel about the coronavirus and how messed up it is that we gotta stay at home most of the time and uh, just. It's crazy out there. And a lot of people are dying from this thing. But for Tool Anima's new album, not new album, they're. Uh, anima album i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 this is a good record it's not something i'll really probably like but maybe if i hear it a few more times because tools like that kind of band you got to hear a couple times to really get into their music so it takes time to sink in for some of these albums they're like a choir taste kind of music but i think they do an all right job for what they're going for with some of these records but they're long <laughs> they are long man <laughs> but comment below let me know what you guys thought of the tool album anima if you've heard this album and if you like this review Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Sorry that I mentioned the group chat and all that stuff in this video. It's just I've been getting ding messages from it. And I just got one just now. <laughs> and while I'm doing this video, and it kind of is a little frustrating, but... I'm not going to ignore it. I'll probably hop on the group chat in just a moment after I finish this video. But, yeah, um, I will return to you Tuesday for the Lateralis album review by Tool. So, and then the last album review is 10,000 Days, which I'll review on April 5th. I wish I could review it earlier, but I got album reviews to do on the 2nd and 3rd, so I'm going to be pretty busy, and that's why I can't do it on the 1st or whatever, because I got other videos to do that day too, and yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review, I know I talked about different things in this video, and kind of made you feel weird inside or whatever. Like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> but, yeah, for the most part, I did enjoy this album. It was better than the first. Uh, Undertow was solid, but Anima is probably going to be a personal favorite of mine. Uh, but in in time, if I start to like the songs more but thank you for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video